Eight gathers were supporting local farmers in downtown Greenville. The Farmers Exchange began its newest season on Friday. News Channel 11's Leah Johnson went there to see how it's helping to build community relationships. Do you have any pumpkins this year? A lot of people have come out. We have had a huge crowd and we really want to thank the community for supporting us. The Old Green County Farmers Exchange in downtown Greenville just opened for a new season. Local vendors at the event Tuesday were selling soap, handmade ceramics, and fresh grown produce. I've been doing this since 1974, off and on all over the United States, California, Oregon, Florida, and now I'm in Tennessee. Reed Hood, owner of Hood Ceramics, says when you retire, you have to find something fun to pass the time. And I make my own glazes, I make my own shapes, and they're all functional, microwave safe, dishwasher safe, of course. The Farmers Exchange is an important part of the community, but vital for the farmers growing the produce. They help uh, su sustain farmers um, in the local community, and they also teach the local people, um, the younger community, um, how to eat fresh. Sydney Hampton, manager of the Farmers Exchange, says being a farmer alone may not help pay the bills, but any community support goes a long way. I mean, a lot of the families anymore have to have um, at least two people uh, working, one working a job um, in the corporate world and then one working on the farm. Um, so this actually really, really helps the local farmers as far as uh, not having to drive and commute. And being a farmer is hard work. It takes several months and then it's a continuous rotating crop and planting um, so you can um, actually have produce to provide to the community all the way through the frost. Hampton says that they have anywhere from 8 to 15 vendors that come out to sell their products at the Farmers Exchange. In Greenville, Leah Johnson, News Channel 11. The Old Green County Farmers Exchange is open every Tuesday and Friday from 11 to 5 in downtown Greenville. You can find it across the street from the Green County History Museum.